everybody welcome to the pagan perspective my name is angel and i am your wednesday host and this week we're going to be talking about dudism it's a real thing people i did not know i did not know it anyways so um dudism is a f kind of reminiscent to taoism except it omits a lot of or all of the metaphysical and the medicinal tenets of Taoism. Uh, it's very much a go with the flow kind of religion. I'm going to read a little bit about it. I'll put the full question down below, which is a really quick question. Uh, talk about Taoism. What do you think about it? Or Dudism. What do you think about it? Um, <clears throat> so Dudism, it's a dude-centric philosophy and lifestyle inspired by the dude, um, the protagonist in the Big Lebowski, the cult classic. Um, it is sometimes regarded as a mock religion, though its founder and many who adhere to the religion regard it very seriously. Um, Dudists regard dude as a gender-neutral word. Um, <clears throat> And March 6th is the annual sacred high holiday of Dudism, the Day of the Dude. And they, the official religion of it is called the Church of the Latter-day Dudes. I'm um, going to double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Church of the Latter-day Dude. Um, and an estimated 250,000 Dudist priests have... Dudist priests? I just want to say Judas so bad. Um, Dudas priests have been ordained worldwide as of August 2014, and um, marriages have been officiated legally by Dudas clergy in some U.S. states. So, Dudism is just go with the flow, you know, don't take things too seriously, um, do your best, relax, enjoy life. And honestly, a lot of the philosophies of Dudism are pretty, pretty much what I think people want to attain. Um, going with the flow, stopping and smelling the roses is another term that you can use where people just kind of chill and don't, don't worry about things, you know, they just relax. And you need that sometimes because with life being so chaotic, you know, and, oh, I gotta get this done, and I gotta get this done, and I get that. You don't really, you look back and you go, I don't even remember doing any of it. So really, you kind of lose the fact that it's really about the journey, not the destination. And <clears throat> I was pretty fortunate this weekend. Uh, it was a long weekend for us, because we had uh, Monday off. And my personal schedule is incredibly hectic. I have a lot of um, uh, activities I do in the local pagan community that I spearhead a lot of, or I'm part of a panel or a, uh, a council of people that do a lot of things. Um, I have a coven, I have a husband, I have a home, I have a full-time job, I'm going back to school. So I have a lot of things going on and I don't really have a lot of time that I make for myself to just chill. And this weekend, I sat in in my bed, in my pajamas, and read all weekend. It was great. Um, I haven't been able to read in a long time, and, and I'm totally recharged from it. And I didn't think about anything. I didn't rush around to do anything. I just chilled. And sometimes I think you need to do that. So, dudism has a place <laughs> um, in in philosophy, if anything, if you don't really take it seriously as a religion, it, its philosophy is definitely uh, has a lot of merit to people, especially in today's society where we're constantly moving, 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 to just relax and, you know, and chill and, you know, do the best you can, but, you know, don't, don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. So... Anyways, that is my take on Dudism. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's it. So anyways, until next week, everybody uh, have a great rest of the week. And I will see you next week here on The Pagan Perspective with another question. And until then, blessed be. Bye.